treat it. You know, and if the dog isn't dirty, why should you want to clean him again? Okay? So that's kind of the the lack of common sense that I see in the industry when it comes to, you know, a lot of the medicated products out there. Um, I mean, it's just common sense. And the gel was developed for uh, applications to horses in the wintertime, because if you spray them, they're going to get a chill. But they still come up with fungal problems in the wintertime. And the way that the groomers are using this now is as an, as an aftershave. You want to apply this to the skin. So where do you have skin on the dog? Where you're shaving, you know? And poodles, you're shaving a lot, exposing a lot of skin. Um, but generally speaking, we're talking about belly, anal, pads of the feet. Um, and oftentimes, you know, the irritation, razor burn, or whatever could go on there, um, you know, it doesn't crop up until the dog gets home. So, you know, the last thing you want is a phone call from that customer always digging at himself, what, what's going on here? So you use the gel, which is a very simple, and you need very little. Most of you have experience with aloe vera gel. It really is, spreads on the skin. So just a little, you know, little application in, your, uh, in all those areas, and it is a preventative. It will help to prevent razor burn. I mean, I was working on a Bichon, and, um, you know, I was all alone. This dog was an age of fidget, and uh, I raked her like this with the blade, and I was like, you know, I felt horrible. <laughs> so I took some gel and rubbed it all over that affected area, and I checked her 10, 15 minutes later, and it was gone. I mean, it was so red, it looked like it was going to bleed. Gone. Couldn't see it. So, um, really neat. And, you know, the products have benefits of doing a lot of things for you. If you have an animal who's got allergy symptoms, well, unless you can remove the allergen, or identify it, first of all, and that's always a process of elimination, which is as long as you can remove, you know, if you can't remove the allergen, then you're always treating symptoms. And that's the redness, the scratching, and issue. Um, so having the spray to apply, as I said, it stops itching on contact. So it's a very simple solution. But by getting that product in the customer's hands, you're getting around trying to sell them something after the fact, which can be awkward and it can be ineffective. You know, they've paid for something extra. Now you're giving them something extra. So they actually feel like, you know, hey, I got something for my extra five bucks. But more importantly, if they have a personal experience and they see how effective the product is, that's going to lend to retail sales. They'll come by and buy the 16 ounce bottle. This is what you want. You know, helping to build retail. Like I said, if they're using another shampoo, I've had groomers who said, Mark, you know what? I see what you're talking about. See, now I ask my customers, are you getting it home? Because if you are, you, know, you have to use the shampoo. You know? Otherwise, I'm not going to groom your dog anymore. <laughs> I mean, it takes me twice as long because you're using some crappy shampoo that's causing them that up. You know what? You gotta you gotta stand your ground sometimes. Yeah. You know, so um, you know those are great examples of real life situations. And remember, this is all about the impact. You know, you guys, I tip my hat because you come here to get a good education. But there's a lot more to running a grooming shop and running a business than being a good groomer, knowing how to scissor and how to bathe, and you know and identifying breed and cuts and all that stuff, you know? You're, taking, you're doing everything to invest in, in your success by coming here. And uh, now, you know, this is something that I felt needs to be addressed because of just what I know how, how dramatic the impact is um, on your business, the products that you use. You need to break it. So. <clears throat> I noticed that Equus is already being sold in some of the chain pet stores mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. As somebody who may want to carry your product in my salon if I ever have one, mm -hmm. how soon is it going to be before this or something comparable to this is going to be like at Walmart? Because that's a big, you no, know, that's a big problem. No, I understand. It's a concern. Right now it's being marketed through the grooming salons and you find it in, in, in some stores, but very few. I mean, you know, I, anybody who's looking for Equus, a retail customer who's looking for Equus, they call the 800 number and they get referred to me because I have the broadest database. I'm the distributor. So I'm supplying all the stores that are selling to all those, cons those, those customers. And I'm struggling all the time to find somebody local to them when they can buy the product. So, the so of you guys are not going to have that issue. Oh. You know, you may, you might deal with the, thing, the the scenario that you know they can buy it in Pet Edge, right? You know, right. but when you tack on their 
minimum surcharge and right. get a ship right. in. But see, I also, I also, it's right there. Right. But I also have managed a pet store for nine years and mm -hmm. that, uh, in an independent pet store. Mm -hmm. And that was one of our biggest problems. Somebody would come out with a great line of product, mm -hmm. high quality product, mm -hmm. and we'd have it in our store. And within two or three years, mm -hmm. it was at Walmart. Well, and I've been and I, I, I totally appreciate anymore. what you're saying. I totally appreciate what you're saying. And, and, you know, and, and I honestly believe, in my heart, and I have 30, 13 years I've been doing this, and I've been really working very, very hard to get the product out there, to educate people. Um, this should be a household name. It should be in everybody's home, you know. It's really the best out there for the animal's sake, and <laughs> nothing less. And when you talk about the value price point for the customer, you know, Premier Shampoo retails for twelve fifty. It's a sixteen to one in the retail packaging. It makes two gallons of shampoo. So when you price that out for Hearts or you know any of the other com competitors, right? It's far cheaper, and it's the best. You know, I saw what, the the Trop Clean Spa line was in is in Petco. Mm -hmm. Nine ninety nine. It's an eight ounce bottle. Mm -hmm. It's a sixteen ounces for twelve fifty. Oh, I know, and I know yeah. that. But if it's, I, it, your product, I understand what you're saying, and, and but my, my feeling is this: you're gonna if you're using the products in the back, and the customers coming to you, and you have it on the shelf, and it's competitively priced, right? They're gonna buy it from you. Yeah, but not many independent salon owners or independent pet stores can compete with Walmart prices. See, that that's just where well, I'm I just talked about Petco and nine ninety nine for an eight ounce bottle. And a lot of those companies, you know, have that buying power, that leverage, because they'll buy direct. Right. That just doesn't do business that much. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to good. know. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah, I mean, standards and ethics, and that's what we're talking about here. Right. You want to have pride in your service, and you want to have the confidence to know that you are doing everything you can possibly do to contribute to the health, the welfare of that animal. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So, there you have it. You know? Uh, yeah, it's not an issue. It really isn't. Um, I think we're at a point where we have to get our own. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me. I really appreciate it, and I wish you guys all the best of luck. And note that if you ever have a question, if you ever need anything, you can call me anytime. All right? Good if luck. you want to order something, can I come in? Yeah. Sure, I have a van full of product out there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.